Hello there. In this video, we are going to make these categories draggable and droppable, okay? So you'll be able to click and drag and sort them, and it's going to remember where everything is without having to refresh the page and without having to even press any buttons, okay? Now, I have a lot to go through here, and I hope you'll forgive me if I go a little bit faster than usual, okay? So, let's start by opening up Store Categories. And we'll go to manage, right? And where all of these data variables are, I want you to create a variable called sort this and we'll set it to true, okay? Sort this to true. Now I'm going to open up the admin view file. This is in the template module, right? And I'm going to do some PHP and say if is set sort this, then we'll say require once sort this code.php okay so what's happening here is uh, we're going to be dragging and dropping categories and you know that's nice and thank you very much however there may be times when you want to drag and drop navigation or items or all sorts of stuff and whenever that happens we're going to need to load up something else it's not good enough just to have code igniter uh, we could use something like AngularJS for this. Uh, we could use a whole bunch of different technologies, but in this case, I'm going to use jQuery UI, okay? jQuery UI. So whenever we are going to be doing some sorting stuff, I want this template to know that we need to load up the additional code, in this case jQuery UI, so that we can make everything work, okay? So that's what's happening here, and that's the vibe. So I'm going to um, go into the templates module, and right inside the views folder, I'm going to create a file called sort underscore this underscore code dot php. If we refresh the screen, you'll see that it has now included the sort this code thing onto the page, right? Now, before coming on, and just to save time, I created a little file with some of the code that we need to make this work, okay? Actually, all of the code that we need. So I'm going to copy this and paste it in. Now, don't worry, all of this is going to be on the Insider Club website. So to get this file, go to insiderclub.org, go to the online shop tutorial, build an online shop with Codeigniter, and I think it's less than 30 we're on. I think it's 30. So if you click there, I'm going to leave a button with a link and you can download this file, okay? So don't worry about it. But very quickly, here's what it does. I'll start from the middle, okay? Deep breath, David, deep breath. Um, all it does is it loads up jQuery and jQuery UI, right? And it loads them up from Google. Do you know that Google hosts jQuery code and jQuery UI and tons of other stuff. Look at this. It's on Google hosted libraries. So I headed in here just before we came on and I copied this link. So it's hosted somewhere else. I, uh, so I got jQuery. Then I got jQuery UI. See, these are the links uh, and I pasted them in. So that's loading up all of the stuff that we need, right? The next part is um, it brings up this function for looking at the unordered list and it looks for a thing with an ID of sortable, right? Uh, sorry, not sortable. It looks for an ID called sort list. And if it sees sort list, it makes it sortable. So check this out. I'm going to bring up the sortable list thing. In fact, do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to save this and refresh the screen and look I'm clicking and dragging and nothing's happening okay you can't see this but I'm dragging and nothing's happening so just so you can see what's meant to happen I'm gonna bring up sortable list and where it says ul I'm gonna say id equals sort list so now we refresh the page and if you have a look you'll see that everything can be dragged about, okay? So back to the file here, uh, sort this code. 
it says, hey, look, if you see a thing called sort listing, go ahead and um, make the thing sortable, right? It's jQuery UI. And when you sort something, fire a function called save changes. This is a little custom JavaScript function, right? Um, basically, what it does is it posts some variables to a PHP script. The PHP script is being built up here. It's looking at the segments and it's figuring out where the PHP script is. That's it, okay? Now, in our case, the PHP script is going to be on store categories forward slash sort. This is where the thing is going to post the stuff to. So I'm going to uh, just once again, I'll refresh, I'm going to view the page source. And here's our code. Can you see how it's posting to store categories sort? Can you see that? Okay, so that's kind of cool. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add two columns to this database. Okay. Um, two columns. The first column is going to be called priority. It's going to be an integer. And the next column is going to be called posted info. And that's going to be a text field. Okay. And we're going to hit save. All right. So now we've got this structure here on store categories. And what I'm going to do, I'm not going to bother about the priority right now. I just want to show you something. Um, I'm going to say info equals the following was posted. And we'll do that. And I'll say for each posted variable as key value, I'll just say uh, key of key with value of value. Okay, now not echo, I'm sorry. Info also equals, so I'm building up a string here, right? And now I'm gonna say posted uh, info, is that what it's called? Yep, posted info equals info, update ID equals one. And then I'm just gonna do that, okay? So let me just show you what's happening and give you an idea how this works. Um, again, I'm refreshing the screen and when we drag, everything looks cool. And now I'm gonna browse the database and you can see that something has happened up here. So I'm gonna edit this and show you what's happening. You can see that a whole bunch of variables have been posted. We have a variable called number and it gives us the number of categories that have been posted. In this case, there's six, right? So it posts that, and then it posts another variable for each and every one of the categories. And it calls a category, in this case, order one, order two, and so on. And you'll see that it says value of undefined, okay? Now that value of undefined is kind of uncool. So let's fix that right now. I'm going to go into sortable list, find an li, and I'm going to set the id to row id. So now let's run the script, right? Let's drag again. And remember how that was all undefined? Well, look, I'm going to browse. I'm going to jump in again. And now suddenly you can see that the id is now being posted, right? So we have the order and we have the ID of the category that's been dragged into position. This is all we need to remember what's going on. This is really, uh, you know, everything actually, and it's very cool. So I just wanted to show you what was happening here. We no longer need this posted info thing. I'm gonna drop that from the database, okay? So we've now just got ID, cat title, parent cat ID, and priority, right? So uh, as I was saying, that was just so you could see what was going on. Now we're gonna build this sort thing properly. First thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna make sure that the user is an administrator. Okay, little bit of security, it doesn't do any harm. And then I'm gonna say number, 
equals this input post number true. So what's that going to contain? Well, in this case, the number six, remember? Remember all of that stuff? Okay, so now I'm going to do uh, a little for statement. And I'm going to say um, for i is less than or equal to number, and we're going to start at one, actually. Okay, and I'm going to say update id equals order post. Uh, now, we want to know the id of the posted variable, so it's going to be that, okay? And then I'm going to say data priority equals, and the priority is going to equal i, okay? And then for each and every one of those update variables that get posted, uh, you know, the one that say, sorry, the variables that say order one, order two, and so on, right? We are going to say update, like so, just do, uh, pass in the update ID, pass in the priority, and that's going to update the database, okay? Now, there's something else we need to do before this becomes uh, kind of meaningful. Can you see how this says draw sortable list and we've got a get where custom here? Well, that's reasonably nice, but actually it's not quite good enough. What we really want this to say is select all from store categories where parent cat ID equals parent cat ID order by priority, okay? So that's the new query. We are paying attention to priority and that's how it's going to go. And this is going to be a custom query. Okay, so that's what we're looking at now. Uh, let's give it a try. So I'm going to refresh the screen. Oh gee. Okay, so categories 920, line 28. Let's have a look. Uh, let me just see this load view. Sorry. Um, data query. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to drag this and refresh. And you can see that it has remembered the position. Can you see that? I'm going to drag up. Let's drag it to the bottom. Refresh. It's remembering the position. Let's put accessories to the top. It is fantastic, Ola, okay? If we go into subcategories, let's put Fender guitars to second from the bottom. Let's put BC Rich to the top. Let's hit refresh. It's fantastic, Ola. So that, I'll put this in the middle, okay? Everything is being remembered. Can you see that? And that's how you do drag and droppable um, sorting. Okay, thank you very much. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.